All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. And today we are going to be doing a showcase for the brand new LR Broly, Chi Lai, and Lemo to help you guys, my fellow global players, decide whether or not you want to spend your hard earned dragon stones to try and pull them when their banner drops in about a day and a half. Obviously, it depends on when you're watching this video, but they'll be here very, very soon along with the Int LR Rosé, who I also did a showcase for, so feel free to go check that out after you watch this one. And I've said many times in the past now that most people should probably be skipping this upcoming banner with the Broly and Rosé, but uh, of course the ultimate decision is up to you, so that's why we're doing this showcase, and hopefully I can help you guys you know, decide whether to summon or not if you're a little bit unsure. So without further ado, let's jump into it and see what this unit can actually do. So on this first rotation, we have Broly linked up with what I believe is his best linking partner. And it's not the AGL Terrorless, but rather the Tech Golden Cooler. Kind of weird, I know, but it works. And uh, we can give a ton of of key spheres here to the LR. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 key spheres. Their defense is going up to 269,000. Nice. 592. That's crazy. That That is a lot of defense, man. Unfortunately, we're not taking any hits here. So it's a bit of a waste. Actually, you know what? With that many key spheres, they would have gotten guaranteed dodge anyways, so it wouldn't have mattered what their defense was. But still, 269,000 defense. That is very, very good. Attack is going to go up to... Yo, 7.7 .7 million, dude. Oh my god. Yo, that's comparable to the Inter Rosé. Now, I don't think they're going to be able to reach like this much attack as consistently as the Rosé does. But still, on the first turn, we got almost 8 million attack, man. Now, obviously, we got lucky there, right? Like, usually, you're not going to get 15 key spheres. But uh, still, I mean, if you bring orb changers like this Kefla right here, it shouldn't be that uncommon to get, like, at least 7, 8 key spheres per turn, which we should be able to get next turn. I'm going to try to save these fizz spheres as much as possible, though. So I think the best move here is actually to use up these ones first and then I guess just give her give her that one and give him that tech key sphere I think that was probably the best move maybe either way we should have a good amount of spheres next turn as well and if you guys were confused about what I said before about how like they would have received guaranteed dodge basically for the Broly Chila and Lemo when they get seven or more key spheres of any type they actually have a 100% chance to dodge all attacks. Of course, if you can dodge the enemy, some enemies will cancel your dodge, so it's ineffective, but for the most part, against most enemies, if you have seven or more key spheres, then they will dodge 100% of all incoming attacks, putting LR Ultra Instinct Goku, STR Oise, and all those like super high dodge chance units to shame because even though those guys have like 70%, which is very high, it's not 100%, right? It's not 100%. So uh, you guys should be able to see it here once we um, once we give them these spheres. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right there. So perfect. Seven key spheres right there. They should be getting 100% dodge chance. Attack's going to be much lower because obviously we don't have Turles and we also um, didn't get nearly as many spheres. But guaranteed dodge right there, as you can see, and 4.3 million is actually still not bad. Yeah, 4.3 mil is actually still very much impressive, in my opinion. So, yeah, we didn't kill him though, but that's okay. Another dodge right there. And uh, Golden Cooler, gonna finish him off. Golden Cooler is actually quite a good unit, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I did not give him the respect he deserves. Uh, very solid, and... It really surprised me when I found out that Golden Cooler was the best linking partner for the uh, Broly, Chi-Lai, and Lemo. And guess what? They only share a grand total of three links with each other, guys. 
three links makes them the best linking partners for each other because I gotta be honest, as much as I love this unit, and I do wanna be clear, I really like the Broly, Chi-Lion, Lemo, their links are kinda rough, okay? They're like a little bit all over the place and that's why they don't have a lot of great linking partners that give them like four, five, six links because they got Brainiacs, Solid Support, Cold Judgment, Big Bad Bosses, Shocking Speed, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And you know, on the surface, you're like, they're not bad links. It's just, there's not a lot of units that like share multiple links with them, you know? So like when I was trying to make this video or when I was like getting ready to make the video and uh, oh crap, I should have saved those orbs. That's okay, it's not a big deal. Um, yeah, so when I was getting ready to make this video, I was looking for, you know, like the best linking partner to bring with the, the, the LR and I couldn't find like that many units that shared more than like one or two links with them, right? I was on the Tokon Battle Optimizer website and if you guys haven't heard of it, it's basically this really good team building website that allows you to like put units together and it shows how many links they share and all that stuff and I couldn't find a lot of units that had like more than one link or two links shared. So then I did some more digging on Reddit and uh, found out that, yeah, it was it was Tech Golden Cooler with three links. That's their best linking partner. And I was like, that's crazy, man. Three links? Because, like, usually, you know, we have most units and most, like, LRs at least have, like, a optimal linking partner that gives them almost all their links. But not in this case, you know. So it's kind of weird. Not a huge deal. But um, I just wish their link set was a bit better. I guess that's the point I'm trying to make. It's uh, it's a little bit rough. It's a little bit rough. Okay, so on this turn, we can't actually give them Fizz Key Spheres, but that's actually okay, because I wanted to showcase the other side of this unit, which was the support side. So let me just quickly read this passive for you guys so that we are, we're, all, we're all on the same page about it, okay? So it's attack and defense plus 15% per Key Sphere obtained, plus an additional attack and defense plus 5%, and Key plus 2 per key sphere obtained with two or more Fizz key spheres obtained. So for the last two turns, we did Fizz key spheres, and uh, obviously that gave them the, the most attack and defense possible, and also the most key. But if you want them to be more supportive, then they give all allies attack plus 39% with two or more AGL or STR key spheres obtained. And they also give all allies defense plus 39% with two or more tech or int key spheres obtained. And then of course, evade enemies attack including super attacks with seven or more key spheres obtained so this is definitely one of the more unique units in the game where they do different things depending on what kind of spheres you give them right so let's say we want them to support attack we would have to give agl or str key spheres so let's do that okay so we'll just give him actually no let me save those for a cooler and then we'll give these ones to Broly, Chi Lion, Lemo, so they're not gonna get that much attack themselves, but they will make the rest of the rotation attack or, or hit harder just because of you know the different orbs we gave them, right? So as you can see, yeah, Cooler is up to 1.8 mil now, and that's because of the extra support provided by the Broly, Chi Lion, Lemo. Additional attack too, yo, Cooler is showing out, man. Yo, he heard I was complimenting him. And it was like, yo, let me show you just how good I am. So there you go. Only 1.9 mil this time. Of course, we didn't even get the 18 key super, so it's understandable. But uh, I mean, I, I like that, you know? I, I really, really like that about this unit. I like how it's just one of the more creative units, right? Like, generally speaking, when new units come out, it's cool if they can hit really hard or they can tank really well or something like that. But most of the time they work very similar to other units right it's just like a attack boost a defense boost maybe like a dodge chance or, or stun or whatever but there's not that much like creativity in, in these units but this one is definitely one that you can tell they put a little bit more thought into they they you know worked on a little bit longer i guess and um i love it so it's definitely a unit that i personally really really want i really want to be, be able to just like test them out in different situations on different teams i mean there's not a lot of different teams you can use them on which is another complaint i have about this unit actually once again love the unit but they are only on two categories in total guys two categories that's it like that's that's shameful okay they're on movie bosses 
and they're on joint forces, which means their team building potential is very, very limited compared to a lot of other units in the game, like um, any Goku really, or any Vegeta with like six, seven categories. Uh, these guys only have two, so you can really put them on like two teams, right? Um, so that really sucks, and I, I'm sure in the future they'll get more categories as more categories are added to the game. Maybe they'll like get like two or three, you know, more, so that like they're a little bit more versatile. But right now, literally, it's um, it's movie bosses, it's joint forces, and that's about it. So. Yeah, um, another complaint there, links, and also the the categories. I mean, I get it. I get why they're only in two categories, of course. It's because it's the three characters, right? It's Broly, Chilai, and Lemo, and not just Broly. If it was just Broly, he would be on more categories, right? He could be on um, Pure Saiyans. He could be on... Uh, what else? I'm sure there's more, I can't think of anything right now, but you guys can, I'm sure, think of them. Um, but like, because it's Broly, Chilai, and Lemo, right? Like, Lemo and Chilai are not Saiyan, so they can't be on Pure Saiyans or any of the other categories that Broly could conceivably, conceivably be on by himself. So, yeah, I mean, I guess that's the drawback of having like multiple characters on a card. And I understand, you know, th th there's the KO screen right there for this card. I don't know if we saw it before, but if this, if this is the first time, I'm gonna just leave it for a second so that everybody can appreciate the fine artistry of this KO screen. Okay, moving on. So yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much all there is to see for this unit. Um, I could do a couple more rotations, do a couple more turns, but really, it's not gonna be that much different, you know? There's no transformation, there's no um, active skill or anything like that to get so it's pretty much gonna be more of the same and that's not a bad thing because as I said they're 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 very very good but uh, there are some drawbacks obviously they're not perfect right they hit really hard they can get guaranteed dodge which is fantastic but um, you know they, they are quite limited for team building they don't have the best links and uh, I guess that's the main thing the, the linking part isn't even that big of an issue for the most part because they if you give them fizz key spheres they get so much extra key that it doesn't even matter you know it doesn't even matter if they don't get a lot of key linkage with other units because they just give themselves so much key right um i guess the main thing you got to keep in mind is like it's probably a, a good idea to bring an orb changer like the fizz kefla on the team so that they can consistently have a supply of Fizz Key Spheres, right? And if you do have like Kefla or somebody else that can change Key Spheres, then you're almost always getting around seven Fizz Key Spheres. And in that case, they're gonna be doing good damage. They're also, more importantly, gonna be getting guaranteed dodge, man. Like that's the part that I can't get over. Like that's just crazy to me that they get 100% chance to dodge. And when you first see it on paper, you're like, yeah, but like that's not gonna happen too often, right? Seven is a lot of key spheres. But if you bring an orb changer like this, then you're gonna get it all the damn time, right? So it's really just about how you build the team, what you put around him. And uh, in this situation, as you can see, man, he does really, really well. Really, really well. Okay, so why don't we make this last turn kind of fun? And I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to do a little orb changing magic here and let's change all the orbs to phase orbs okay so going from tech to agl agl to str and str to fizz so we can have a full board of i mean almost full board of fizz key spheres this is going to give us okay so we're going to miss a few we're going to miss two so i think it's going to be like 21 or 22 key spheres Full board's 23, right? I'm not, gonna, I'm, not, I'm not gonna count right now, but either way, most of a board right there. We got the cooler, we got the metal cooler, and uh, this is gonna be the last turn, guys. So that's the showcase. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below. Guaranteed dodge right there, boom. Uh, if this video 
helped you decide whether or not to summon for Broly, Chi-Lai, and Lemo. Oh my god, 8.48 million for that last attack. Of course, like I said, you're not going to be getting that many key spheres that often, but when it does happen, or if you use items, it's a magical time, man. It's a, it's, it's a good time. But anyways, that is the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, once again, let me know if you're going to be summoning uh, for either this guy or the Int Rosé. Of course, video for the Rosé up on the channel now, so go check it out. And uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. You know what? I got to do this token attack. Can't just leave it like this. Hit, there we go. Uh, like the damn video if you guys enjoyed it. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out